Hello everybody, welcome back to Sawyer Live and some more Scribble Knots. As you can see, I was uh, messing around with the character creator and I didn't make it all that far. I'm gonna suspect Sawyer, why was I suspect? I'm gonna just go back to, to Max. I was having some difficulties with it and uh, it didn't didn't do so well there, so we're just gonna we're just gonna pretend none of us saw that. <laughs> I'm so bored. Give me something to entertain myself. You know what I've actually had on my mind, and I'm really curious. I don't think this this is gonna let me do no, no. Okay, have a pogo stick. That wh I'm sorry. What? I'm what? Okay, there you go. Is that is that entertaining? That one wants a baby. That's not how you entertain yourself. <laughs> dolphin, maybe. I'll give you a dolphin. Your uh, your friend wants a dolphin. I hope that's entertaining enough. How's this for entertainment? <laughs> I mean, it's no corgi, but whatever. Okay, just uh. How about just have a puzzle? I'm just gonna give you a puzzle, all right? <laughs> I don't know... Pogo? What is a... That's a corn dog. That's definitely a corn dog, not a pogo. Give me, give me a moment. So I am planning on... Let, let's 100%, whoop. Slow it down, best boy. I'm thinking I want 100% this because I am definitely enjoying myself. Oven's on fire. I don't know if I'm gonna get into the other versions of... Oh my goodness, that's a shocking amount of bugs coming out of your oven. I don't know if I'm gonna get into the other versions. I don't... I don't know. I, like, I'm not against it. I'm just having difficulty. I wish he would give me something to make me feel better. Have you considered a dolphin? Um... Or... I mean... Have a pogo. I don't. <laughs> All right. My goodness, is it actually gonna make me do this? <laughs> That—that's why you propose. It's for that, I guess. Okay. I was expecting it to make me go further with that somehow. <laughs> the billboard needs to show what we sell here. I'm just taking a guess based on how much you're, you know, coming out of the. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> so many bugs are coming out of the oven. Let's just make it a, a point so the health inspector doesn't shut us down. <laughs> that's the key. That's why Ratatouille works. You know, that's why in the end Ratatouille or why Remy is able to have his own restaurant is because we're honest about it. A rat prepares all the food. When will dinner arrive? Yeah, I know what you want. You want some spaghetti. There you go. Oh. Yeah, your dog, so I didn't I didn't think you'd care. <laughs> Oops, I forgot to fill the box with a gift. Go for it. <laughs> you know what? I am uh I don't know if you guys know that I'm allergic to corn, and it's an allergy that develops, so I'd tell you, if I if I got a corn dog as a gift, Boy, would I love it. Like a corn dog I could actually eat. Gosh, I miss a... I miss a good corn dog. I don't know why a soccer ball. It's just... Yeah. Have fun. It turned into a balloon somehow. <laughs> but are they singing happy birthday? Is that what's happening? <laughs> okay, I need to go downstairs through the very dirty kitchen. We won't pass the health inspection with these bugs around. That's why we did the billboard thing, remember? <laughs> oh, wow, it actually <laughs> let me do insecticide. Good luck. No? Okay, okay. Well, I guess I'll I'll go topside and take care of your bugs in a minute. I'm trapped in the freezer. Hell, what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Not exactly what I was expecting, but sure, you know, like... <laughs> cool. I'm, I'm glad we figured out that issue. <laughs> uh, this is some where the wild things are nonsense, and I'm not sure why this is in the in your shop, but we're looking for a suitable individual to join our club. 
Okay, so you're the Minotaur. You're a monster. Uh... Um... I don't know. Goatman? <laughs> guy Wan? Have some Guy Wan. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing that's some kind of dish. I don't... I've never heard of Guy Wan. Uh, okay, so... Monster and... This guy's gotten me out of a lot of jams many times. Oh! Um... <laughs> Let's hold on just a just a quick moment. Um Here you go guys. <laughs> good good luck the scare society. Okay, I'm just uh you know what just give me the insecticide. I'll take care of your bug problem apparently. My goodness. What is why am I the only one working in this kitchen? <laughs> there you go. Easy enough, right? Oh, one's getting away. <laughs> it's, it briefly looked like it turned into a dolphin. That's not what insecticide is. Um, did that not? Oh, oh, there's. <laughs> Get out of here. Okay, is there? There's more, isn't there? Oh yeah, there he is. <laughs> I'm sure you guys can see him. Yeah, so I'm I'm okay with playing more Scribble Knots. I would love to actually. I've this is the only one I've ever played, but I'm not sure how. Oh, that's for. <laughs> yeah, sure. I'll I'll spray the diploma down. <laughs> Let's keep it nice and sanitary from uh, from bugs. I don't know how to hook up a DS just yet. I have a handful of games that I would love to play on the DS, and I don't know how to play them just yet. We are actually looking really good. What did the... Let's see. Let's go... I don't know what this is. Volcano. <laughs> let's go over to the Volcano. We'll do one of the one of the main missions and probably call that for today. Yeah, so as soon as I figure out, like, the DS system, I'll... What in the world was that? As soon as I figure out the DS system, we can, uh, we can play some more Scribble Knots. As well as some other DS games that I've had in mind. I have a... I think my first DS game outside of the, like, the Metroid demo that comes along with it. No, that's not it. Is, uh... There we go. So 106 is now the new end, I guess. Uh... Oh! <laughs> hey, Frodo! I forgot what I was supposed to throw in this volcano. That... Uh, extra crispy. <laughs> I guess... <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I love it. I love the attention to detail. Also, I extremely love his cloak. Um, can I get his cloak? It, it, it just said halfling. I know... Shoot. Alright, well... I'm gonna figure that one out of that... Oh my gosh! <laughs> Um, <laughs> hey, bud, what, uh, yeah, I totally, I totally got it. Okay, well, you know what? I want your cloak. No, that's not it. Okay, so that's you. Now, can I just rob you blind? I don't have to worry about demonetization just yet, so we're gonna just... Dead nap it! <laughs> fine, fine, screw it. <laughs> uh, probably what needed to go in, I'm sure. I'm gonna figure out how to get your robe. I want your robe, or your, uh, I, I want your cloak. I'm gonna figure that out eventually. <laughs> I'm, you know what? I have several people who know how to play this game better than me. If any of you can tell me how to get this cloak, because I absolutely love it. I actually sewed that cloak. I, uh, I made that cloak, <clears throat> I made that cloak for, uh, for a friend of mine. I'm very happy with how it turned out. It was super cool and super fun to make. Help save the village from a, vi from a volcano that's about to erupt. 
Uh, I actually like sewing. I don't get to do it too often, but I do. Uh, I do like sewing, namely cloaks. I have made, I think, like twelve cloaks, <laughs> all different styles and uh, different fabrics and techniques. I super love making them. I have one that I use as a blanket from time to time when I when it's laundry day. The volcano is going to erupt. Help save the shaman's village by sacrificing objects to the volcano goddess. Write three bounties of earth to throw into the volcano. Three bounties of earth. Uh, I mean, how many hostess products does this thing have? Can I do Twinkies? Tackies. There you go. That's a pretty good bounty, I feel like. No? But jorts? How about a jat? Whatever a jat is, she's into that. Okay. Uh, how about like some Nike shoes? A nemes. A nems. A anemies? I feel like that. Oh, you know what? Yeah, let's just go into. <laughs> let's just uh, go into the uh, into the wonders of the world. No, not into that. Let's see. We need some great. You want to tell me that's not an amazing, <laughs> uh, a bounty of earth. I think you're just, yeah, diamonds are a goddess's best friend. That's, that's the saying. I know you already got one of those today, but you know, <laughs> it doesn't hurt to have more. I feel like we didn't please her if that's happening, right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Good, we're on the same page. The volcano is still angry. Maybe it is unhappy with our dependency on technology. Try to appease it by writing more sacrifices. <laughs> it it doesn't like our connect. That is an old cell phone. My goodness, can I not spawn something from the last six years? <laughs> this game was made late. Five or like ten years ago, wasn't it? <laughs> uh, okay, technology, technology, technology. Uh, oh, oh, you're not wild about that? You don't like medical technology that's saving lives? What kind of <laughs> ridiculous fire goddess is this? And then we need, like, I don't know, a PC. I wonder if I can make a PC that's playing Scribble Knots for her to burn. I love, I'm curious of how meta this could get. <laughs> yeah, it's it's crazy, right? It's almost. A, is there a volcano goddess? <laughs> the volcano keeps rising. Perhaps the volcano goddess wants a monetary sacrifice. Create a donation for the volcano. <laughs> uh, just some sweet, sweet cash money. Yeah, right. <laughs> I just gave her like a fiver and we're hoping that that's going to be good enough. <laughs> I agree with you. Of course, she's still angry at us. All right. Oh, oh, goodness. She is real. <laughs> the offerings did not work. Now the volcano goddess has appeared and is demanding a love interest. Listen, my notebook has like three rules to it. I feel like that should be one of them. <laughs> Actually, I've brought the dead back to life. What? I don't think there are rules to this thing. Write a math. Write a, write a mate. <laughs> write a mate that she will be happy with. Yeah, you know, again, now that I'm thinking about it, I think the only rule was I couldn't spawn my sister into existence to prevent from having to go on this quest of saving my sister. So that's kind of cool. Uh, a mate that you'll be happy with. Who is, uh, oh. Uh, oh gosh, who is the the Greek god of vanity? <laughs> Van. <laughs> this is my buddy Van. <laughs> you know what? I love that Van. So I don't know what I don't know what your problem is. Uh, write a mate that she'll be happy with. Someone who likes fire. Oh, oh, okay. No? Not into not into fire jugglers? Okay, we'll just sacrifice. Oh, oh, okay, yeah. So I just needed to sacrifice her. That's cool. Alright. Cool. <laughs> and that's all we needed to do. 
<laughs> so it still involved a sacrifice. I I was getting ready to throw one of my corgis in there to just see what happens. <laughs> but hey, we got there. 65 star rights. And I don't have to worry about my sister dying anymore. That's really nice. I'm so happy that we figured things out. That was such a ridiculous move. <laughs> that the ending, the finale on this of my dad being the big bad of a uh, oh my goodness. Okay, well, I'm going to I'm going to call it there. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm going to rant on that at some other point. I hope you all have a great